So today we are looking at the Trom Jaro Linux. So here is the boot menu. So let me quickly boot it in the live boot. So these are all the options you see in the uh, boot menu. So I'm going to choose the boot with the open source drivers. So Trom Jaro Linux is uh, based on Manjaro Linux, Arch Linux. So the desktop environment you get is a XFC desktop environment. So the booting process will take like a two or three minutes usually in my PC. So I'm running it on the VMware which is a virtual machine with 60 GB of virtual disk, 8 GB of RAM and a CPU is i5-1240p. So it's going to take like a few seconds or a few minutes to load up the desktop. So let's wait and see how much of time it's going to take. So here is our desktop layout of our Tron Jaro Linux. So we have the XFCE desktop environment. So here the installer opened automatically. So I didn't even change the display settings because I want to show you how much of uh, hardware specs. Not the hardware specs, uh, it's going to consume a bit of uh, high resources because I already tried but uh, my audio didn't uh, record. So that's the reason I'm making another uh, again. So I made like a 50 minutes video but the audio was not recording for some reason so it stopped uh, in the middle but uh, here I'm back with the uh, Tram Jaro Linux again. So this is the system monitor you get in the uh, Tram Jaro Linux. So here is the uh, processor. So the RAM is almost will be consuming like a 3 GB almost. So it's consuming 2.7 GB but uh, when you're using uh, a few applications the RAM will go up to 3.75 GB so this Linux distro will consume a lot of RAM and also the CPU so on the CPU side it will be consuming almost under 50 percent but on the RAM it will be consuming almost like a 3.5 GB if you open one or two applications but you open a bunch of applications like a five to six applications the RAM will be going up to 6 GB so in order to run this type of Linux history, you need to have at least a uh, 4GB of RAM. Even if you have like a 4GB of RAM, the you, need, you can only open like a one or two applications and the RAM will more, almost go up to 3.5GB. And remember, I'm running it on the VMware and also a live boot. So the RAM will be a bit lesser when you install it on the Bay Metal. So there will be no major uh, difference. There will be like a 500 MB, 600 MB uh, difference on the bare metal. You don't see like a one and a half GB or two GB of uh, uh, difference when you install it on the bare metal when compared to the virtual machine. So these are all the resources. So let me show you the applications running uh, when you boot up. So these are all the applications will run. Here is the process running. I'm going to change the display settings and all those things after I show all these things. So it's based on Manjaro Linux and Manjaro Linux is based on Arch Linux. So when you type in uh, in the terminal, it's going to say Manjaro Linux, Arch Linux. I'm going to show you all those things and also about the system requirements. I have like a 8 GB of RAM. My CPU is 1240p, i5 1240p and a virtual disk is a 60 GB. So even if I have this uh, much of hardware specs, so the Linux distro will run without any issues. Uh, it's highly customized XFC desktop environment. You can't even uh, say it's a XFC desktop environment when you see at first time. But it's pretty much work. Uh, work is done very well. But the hardware specs or the hardware resources consuming is more here. So you need to have like a good RAM and good CPU to run this Linux distro. If you have like a low-end PC, I, I, I will be saying that it's better to skip this Linux distro because it's going to be consuming a lot of RAM and also CPU is almost like 80-90%. So that's the reason. So it's stably working without issue, but uh, it's, it will be consuming a lot of resources. So you need to understand. So I'm saying that in the beginning only. So I'm going to close these applications and uh, let me change the display settings. So it automatically changes the display settings in the VMware so that's a good thing. Most of the distros will do the same thing uh, in uh, most of the Linux distros will do this type of things. So I'm going to keep the RAM here throughout the video so you should be seeing all the changes. It is our RAM and uh, let me open the internet browser which is uh, Firefox. You get the 129 version but this ISO file is released like a 17 days ago so, so the version is a August ISO file or you can call it as a 2024 08 10 edition 
So let me open the browser. Here is our browser. Let me check the version. The search engine will be some random thing. So you need to change the search engine also. So let's check the version of the Firefox. So you should be seeing 129.0. So there is some extension error. So let me close it. Let me type in about support. About semicolon or uh, support. And you should be seeing some uh, display information and also some browser information. So let it load. I was uh, using this Linux distro, the RAM was pretty much low, but uh, I don't know for second use it's consuming a lot of resources here. It's consuming like a 4 GB of RAM. So I don't know why. So there, there was no issue when I was using uh, in the first time. So it was working without issues. Even now there is no issue. That's just a RAM, uh, high RAM consumption. So I really like this uh, Linux distro. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but it's customized and work done is very well here. So that's a good thing. And also on the when you compare it on the hardware specs, it's pretty much bad in my opinion because it's going to consume a lot of resources. So that's the only issue I have. So it's running smoothly without issues when I first tried. So distribution ID, it says as a Arch Linux. The version of the browser is here. You should be seeing the Linux kernel version, which is 6.6, .6, which is a LTS. Let me show you. Let me try to type the Linux kernel website. Let me open the google.com because there is some random search engine. I don't know how to use it. So that's the reason I'm going to open the google.com. So I'm using a VPN. So that's uh, that will be also a bit uh, delay here. I choose Indian server so, and also the website will also load a bit slow the Trom Jaro uh, Linux website. So I'm going to show you that in, uh, in a minute. Linux kernel. So the XFC desktop environment version will be also I'm going to show all the information just wait for a few seconds few minutes. So this is the uh, URL of the Linux kernel which is kernel.org. So right now we are using a 6.6.44, which is a uh, long term is here. You can see 6.6 .6. and the stable version right now is 6.10.6, .6, which is released on August 19th and the release candidate RC5 is a uh, 6.11. So you need to see whether it's a long term or not. So it's a long term. It's not a stable 6.10.6, .6, but it's a long term. So that's a good thing. Here are our package and manager. I'm going to show you that also. So let's find some additional information. Here is our operating system theme. So you should be having like a bunch of themes in this uh, Linux show. I already saw made a video, but I didn't audio didn't record. So I saw all those things So you have like a lot of uh, themes available in this uh, Linux show. And also you should be seeing some backgrounds, nice backgrounds available in this uh, Linux show. Let me just scroll it down. So it says 7.7 GB of uh, RAM. This space is 4.8 GB. Here are some uh, additional information. Just pause the video and read everything if you want. If you consider it as important, here are some additional information. So window protocol is a X11. Desktop environment is XFCE. When you scroll it down, you should be also seeing the display resolution, driver version. So these are some important information. If you consider important, then uh, pause video and uh, read everything. So we got all the information here. So let me go to the official website. It should be Trom Jaro Linux. The full name of uh, Trom, I'm going to show you that. So TRO means a trade operating system. I'm going to show you that. So here is our Linux kernel. Let me close it. So I already said the uh, website will be loading a bit slower. Let me search it again. So when you open the website, it's going to take a few seconds to load. So a trade free operating system. So Trom 
uh, is a trade free operating system so let the browser or the let the website loads so it's going to be saying the it's based on manjaro linux in the uh, top right corner and here is some of the information like a design for your brain but you can install it on a computer no more ads and trackers consuming you no free trials so here you should be seeing some uh, customizations of the layout in the top so you can customize the layout you can choose the backgrounds you can also have the icons custom made icons you can choose the themes extremely customizable easy to use and manage so settings manager software manager i'm going to show everything so you don't need to worry about it so here are the gestures you can add your gestures if you want so master the files control the web you can add the extensions in pretty much every linux distro and also in uh, if you have the firefox or chrome browser you can add any type of extension so that's uh, not a new thing here here are some custom uh, it's not a custom it's a content creating applications you can send files communicate passwords so here you get a bunch of things in this linux distro so let me show you the downloading process so the release i'm going to show you the first release and i'm going to show you the download thing so here is our release which is a tram jaro 2024 edition which is the version we are using right now so there is no uh, information about uh, anything here just uh, some few information so also the website will be loading a bit slow here maybe because of my vpn or maybe because uh, in in my current operating system also it doesn't uh, open that much fastly so it took a bit time there so it's going to take few seconds here so instead of waiting let me open the terminal and uh, show you some information let me open the terminal so neofetch will be not working so let me show you So you need to install the NeoFetch in order to uh, get NeoFetch. Here is the version of the terminal 1.1.3. Let me change the color. Go to preference, change the color. Let me load the preset, black and white. So there is a next cloud in the background. Let me close that. Exit. So let's close this all those things let me type in some commands here so it's still taking a lot of time here so let's go back and uh, i'm going to show you the downloading process so before that let me type in inxi dash sv8 so you should be getting all the distro information just in front of you so let me go through all those things you just need to scroll it up and you should be seeing all the information the host it says has a trom or the from jar linux the kernel which we already mentioned 64 bit compiler gcc version 14.1.1 here is some additional information the desktop environment is xfce with the version 4.18.1 gtk version is 3.24.43 xfwm4 version is a 4.18.0 DM Light DM version is uh, version 1.32.0. Distro it says as a Manjaro based on Arch Linux. Manjaro or the machine. So it's a VMware, so just ignore the VMware information. Scroll it down, you should be seeing the RAM, which I'm using 8 GB of RAM and it is using 14.0 GB. It's consuming almost 50% of the RAM. Here are the slots and all those things. So just scroll it down. Here is my CPU which is i5-1240p which I already mentioned in the beginning and uh, here is some additional information. When you scroll it down you should be also seeing the vulnerabilities and uh, if you scroll it down again you should be seeing the graphics information. BMWGFX version 2.20.0.0 Display is X11 Server is XOG version 1.21.1.13 xfwm4 version is 4.18.0 
and here is the monitor resolutions available EGL version is uh, 1.5 1.4 OpenGL version is 4.5 Compact B version is 4.3 Mesa version is 24.1.5 and here is some audio information Elsa version is right here Jack version is uh, 1.9.22 Pipewire version is 1.2.2 so here is some other information if you consider it, it as important just uh, read everything by pausing the video here is the bluetooth drives partitions unmounted usb and all those things like a repos so just pause the video and read everything so here is the process running which is 314 uptime is almost 15 minutes and system d version will be right here which is 256 Clang version is 18.1.8, .1 GCC version is 14.1.1, uh, INXI version is 3.3.5, Shell Bash version is 5.2.26. So uptime, all those things which I already mentioned. So you got all the information here. So I'm going to type in some commands which is same like this one but you get the short uh, answer here or the short information which is INXI. You get the same information as the above but in a short form INXI dash small b you should be getting some additional information here not the additional information just the same but in a short form let it load INXI dash capital F hit enter it's taking a bit time here here we have all the information let it load INX dash capital G let's wait so here we got all the information let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue user is strom0 password is strom0 when you type in htop it says command not found because htop is not uh, installed or pre-installed so here we get to the v, uh, official website so in order to download you just need to click on download here are the apps here are the release so it's taking a lot of time to load when I was recording in the beginning or in the first time, it was opening instantly and also the website was taking a bit time so maybe there is some issues with the server right now it's working so here is the version here you can get some uh, information of that specific uh, version application finder here is the apps we get a bunch of applications here like our resources which we are already using so here you should be seeing like a app flowy app adb manager and all those things so these are all the applications so you can click on load more and see all those things so when the download i'm going to show you the download thing so here you can go with the second resources like a flash drives and all those things and uh, in order to download the ISO file just go with the uh, trom drive or trom files same thing you should be seeing the same uh, files you just need to change this uh, view so let it load let's go to the apps you should be seeing a bunch of uh, applications I'm going to close this here the usual Manjaro stable updates plug plus fixing our trom search redirections so here is some of the information about the application finder you can get uh, all the information right there so it's not a major release but uh, it's been days uh, i didn't make a video on this uh, linux distro so here is the version of a uh, july and here is the august version which is the la uh, latest version 17 days ago and this is a month ago so you just need to click on the file and the download will be started here so the file size is around like a 4 gb let me close it so the these are all the downloading process and the official website let me close the next cloud because it's going to pop up throughout the video let's open the installer 
So there is nothing complicated in the installation. You just uh, need to install uh, as usual, like a Manjaro Linux or the Calamaras installer. So there is nothing complicated, but if you're a new user or a new Linux user, I'm just going to show, uh, show you some basic things. First, choose the language. Click next, choose your location. You can choose the map or you can choose the drop down menu. And the system language will be set to American English. If you want to customize, you can customize or else keep it like that. The numbers and date locales will be set to American English United States. If you want to keep it like that, you can keep it or you can customize according to your wish. Click on next, choose your keyboard. So it automatically chooses your keyboard. If uh, anything is wrong, just choose your keyboard right here. Choose your language for the keyboard. Choose your variant for the keyboard. If you want to test your keyboard, you can try it here. Click next. Here you need to choose your installation drive. If you're not no, if you don't know how to install the Linux distro on the virtual disk or the hard disk, you need to watch tutorials uh, which are available in the YouTube. So there are like uh, other channels who make uh, uh, install specific installation tutorials, like a uh, two or three minutes videos. Just watch like uh, four or five videos, or maybe one or two videos if you understand uh, in quick and uh, you should be good with the installation i'm going to say you uh, show you the basic things here so first choose your drive if you have like a multiple drives of installation drive you can choose the specific drive and if you're going to choose the erase disk the option this one is like uh, it's going to completely erase whatever available in that uh, chosen uh, drive so it's going to erase everything like a uh, media files current operating systems whatever available in that specific drive you choose so it's basically going to erase everything and it's going to install only a uh, tram general linux or the single boot like a single boot operating system like a uh, tram general linux and there will be nothing uh, available whatever you uh, had uh, earlier in that uh, specific drive so if you don't know what you are doing here it's better to watch tutorials first if you're already a linux user you already know what to do here so just ignore that part so when you choose the erase disk options here is the options and it's this basically is like a single boot options or the single boot operating system it's going to erase everything and it's going to install tram zero linux on that uh, specific drive and the other uh, another option is like a manual partitioning before choosing this option you need to create a partition and if you create a partition you can install the tram zero linux on uh, that specific partition and you should be seeing two operating systems in the boot menu and you can select whatever operating system you want if you want to encrypt your system you can provide uh, the password which should be same in the both the boxes if you don't want just uncheck it and also the drive will be like this before installation and after the installation it will be like this current and after will be shown here and another option will be shown here is bootloader location which is you should be seeing three options for example master boot record for a specific uh, drive or in this in case uh, in this case it says vmware because i'm using a vmware the other options is like a system partition and do not install a bootloader so you need to watch tutorials if you ask that i made a videos on that uh, specific installation tutorial videos but i'm going to say it's no because i always cover a video complete information of that specific linux distro information because uh, i'll be making those type of videos i never made a video of the specific installation tutorials so that's the reason i never uh, made uh, installation tutorials in my channel I covered like almost everything and also my videos will be a bit lengthy like a 20-25 minutes because I'll be covering most of the features and the installation and all those things and I don't really remember in which video I installed uh, the Linux distro on the virtual disk or in a bay metal because I made like a 3000 videos it's pretty much very hard to remember anything so I hope you understand and it's better to watch some sh short tutorials because I don't want you to get bored just watching installation videos so in order to watch installation videos you don't need to watch all the features and all the new things in that uh, video in my video so that's the reason i'm recommending others videos in the youtube just watch some two three videos and you should be good with the installation so after choosing everything here just click on next and here you need to create a user account or a user account creation which is same in every operating systems and also in every linux distro so it says what is your name here just type in like uh, your name or you can provide whatever name you want for example i'm going to choose 9 to 5 linux which is my channel name 
9 to 5 Linux. Let me put O, 9 to 5 Linux. So if everything is going good, you should be seeing a tick mark right side in the box. And what name do you want to use to log in? If you use numerical, it's going to give you some error sign. Like your username must start with a lowercase letter or underscore. It's better to use the alphabets. Unboxing. What is the name of this computer? I'm going to keep it like a 9 to 5 Linux. Choose a password to keep your account safe. For the sake of the video, I'm choosing the simple password, which is 12345. You need to provide a strong password here. It's a bit best option to give the strong password and it will be a bit safe there. So log in automatically without asking for the password. If you want to check this, you can check it. Use the same password for the administrator account. If you want the same password as the uh, above one, you can choose just this option. If you don't want the same password as the account password, just remove it and provide some different password and it will be your administrator account password. I'm going to choose this like this and after clicking on next here is a summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation steps it will be right here like a location language keyboard and all those things partitions and uh, these things will happen after you click on install when you click on install before that if you have anything wrong here if you have to fix anything here just go back and fix uh, anything uh, you made a mistake there you can do that also so when you click on install it's going to take like a 20 to 25 minutes depends on the pc if you have like a high-end pc it should be very quick if you have like a low-end pc or the minimum requirements uh, for this linux is true so it's going to take a bit more here the basic ideal time will be like a 20 to 25 minutes and also it depends on this if you have like a stable iso file it will be very quick and also the installation may never fail 99 percent of the time the installation will be good in uh, if you download like a beta version unstable version or a development version there will be some cases like uh, the installation may fail it should be like a not responding and uh, there will be like a frozen screen and all those things you should be having this type of issues in a rare cases it's not usually but you already know the beta version have like a bugs and all those things like unstable versions beta versions development versions so you need to understand this all the things will happen and the times will be like a more or less so that all the things will happen so i'm not going to install because i need to make another video so i'm just going to close the installer let's check some desktop wallpapers and also some themes so you get a bunch of wallpapers here so the next cloud is uh, popping up uh, for some reason launch on system startup i'm going to close all those things let me close it so we already have the version of the next cloud here so let me close it so here are the wallpapers you get you get like a 2025 20, wallpapers you can customize your wallpapers i'm going to choose this one so here is the menu here are the icons so if you want to customize you can customize here so you get the power options lock option the notifications notification settings if you want to customize your notifications customize because it's xfc desktop environment so you, sh you can do whatever you want here you already know how to customize the xfc desktop environment here is the power manager here is the volume So the, we have the package manager updates here so let's see so it was released like uh, 17 days ago so you should be seeing some updates here around like uh, maybe 180 mb 200 mb of updates so there is some firefox update and some other updates available in the update sections so here are all those things if you want to apply update you can update so before trying this Linux distro, I'm again uh, recommending you to have like a good hardware specs in order to run this uh, Linux distros. If you have like a low-end PC, I don't think it's better option to try this Linux distro. But if you want to try it, try it. There will be some issues like there will be a la lag and uh, applications may fail because if you have like a low-end PC, it's going to... This, this Linux distro will consume a bit of uh, higher resources. So it's better to have like a good hardware specs in order to run this Linux distro. 
So here is the Pac-Man version 10.6.0. Here you can customize, you can refresh database, software mode. You can install from local packages. Here are the preference. You can customize your preference according to your wish, like a third party and all those things. Here are the installed applications. Here are the, uh, you can uninstall and also you can browse the applications. Let me remove the software mode. And here you can see all the versions of the applications. Let me scroll it down. You can change the playback speed and you should be seeing everything in a slow-mo here with the versions and all those things. So there are a lot of packages here. So that's the reason I'm going to scroll it down very speedily. So you should be seeing the versions here. If you change the YouTube playback speed settings and you should be seeing everything in a slow-mo. So you should be seeing every version in a slow-mo so you don't need to worry about it. You can search the applications. You already know how to do that in a Manjaro link. So same thing is uh, right here. So let me close the applications. I think uh, it's going to take a minute here, I guess, because of the lag, maybe. Let's check the resources. 4.6 GB, 5 GB. So what else we left is like a appearance, which is like a themes and all those things. Let me show you that things also. So when you scroll it down, you should be seeing a bunch of uh, themes available right here. So you can customize whatever you want here, like a gray one, light and all those things. So there are a bunch of things, uh, themes available in this uh, application So or the Linux distro. You can customize according to your wish here. Here are the icons. You don't get a bunch of icons. You just get a basic icons. Here are the fonts. Here are the settings. So we pretty much covered everything. So let me show you the settings manager. And here you should be seeing apps menu, categories, editor, clipboard manager. So these are all these some customization things you can customize according to your wish. If you are trying this Linux distro, here is the desktop. We already see all, saw all this uh, background. So again, it popped up, which is next cloud. Here is the file manager settings. You can customize your file manager settings, which is Tuner. I'm going to show you that. Window manager fix, which is same. So here is the window manager fix. You can customize according to your wish. Let's go to all settings. Here you should be seeing Chrome Jira layout switcher. You can change your layout, like uh, which we already saw in the official website. You can customize according to your wish. It's going to take a few seconds and uh, the layout will be switched. So it will be changed like this. So it's taking a bit time. It's like a Mac OS like layout which will be enabled. So here is our layout so you can customize according to your wish. Let me close it. What else we left here is like notification. We already saw the notification. Here is the theme switcher. You can change your theme switcher here. So it changed to yellow. Let's close it. You can do a lot of customization things in this uh, next distro. Optimization settings of the battery. So you can customize all those things like graphics, network and all those things. Let me close it. I'm not going to show all those things because it's going to make a video way lengthy. So I don't want to make a video lengthy because you don't want to watch like a 40, 50 minutes video. So if I cover everything, it's going to take a lot of time. I want to cover everything, but uh, no one watches that much of uh, time, like uh, almost like a 40, 50 minutes. Uh, most of my viewers will be watching, but uh, some users doesn't want to see that much of a uh, lengthy video. So that's the reason. Power manager, we already saw all those things. Let me open the settings manager. I missed some things here. Like a RGB light settings. Let me click it again. Here is the webcam settings. So these are all the customization things. You can customize all those things. Webcam settings, touchpad gestures, which was already shown in the beginning of the in the browser. So they mentioned everything in the official website. You can customize according to wish. And here are some other options like a internet content blocker, session and startup. 
you can add all those things let me show you session and startup so we covered pretty much everything so let me do a stress test let me open a bunch of applications so basically a stress test is like a opening a bunch of applications to see whether this distro will handle day-to-day -day task because a normal user will be running applications like a browser media player and a music player and all those things at once like a he'll be using like a browser uh, some musics and also some files uh, photo editing apps like a GIMP and also the document viewer so this type of applications in order to see how much of resource it takes and also whether we get like a not responding or any pop-ups like this one can you can judge on the all those things whether to use this Linux distro or not but I tried in the first time and also I'm trying the second time uh, the Linux distro there was no issues other than some hardware uh, things because it will consume a lot of resources so that's the only issue for me and other than that there is no issue or any lag or anything so this is not a sponsor video it's a good linux distro but you need to have like a lot of hardware specs in order to use this linux distro but if you want other alternative it's better to go with the manjaro linux and customize according to your wish i'm going to say this type of thing because uh, it's my uh, uh, perspective uh, so that's the reason so if you want to customize out of the box Manjaro Linux, you can go with this Linux distro. And also if you have like a good hardware specs, you can go with this Linux distro or else you can go with the Manjaro Linux. And also Manjaro Linux needs some good hardware specs. So in order to run almost every Linux distro in the 2024, you need to have like a 2 gigahertz uh, processor, which should be like a dual core or maybe the i3 processor. Uh, you need to have like a dual core Pentium or else like a i3 processor and about the RAM you need to have like a 4 GB of RAM at least and 50 GB of uh, hard disk 50 60 GB of hard disk and uh, for the monitor you need to have like a 1366 into 768 at least in 2024 in order to run like a 50 to 60 percent of uh, Linux distros so everything is work working properly but uh, the RAM will be consuming a lot so let's try to switch the applications so I don't see any lag or anything so that's a good sign so it's clearly up to you and uh, it's your opinion whether to use this Linux distro or not so if you ask me about the alternative for this Linux distro it's better like go with the Manjaro Linux if you have like a low-end PC or a mid-end PC if you have like a good hardware specs and if you want customized Manjaro Linux you can go with this Linux distro it's clearly up to you it's your opinion don't go with my uh, thoughts and uh, uh, my uh, opinion because i'm going to just wa make a video and i'm just going to delete the operating system because i'll be making two videos daily without missing any day so i don't really care about these things but if you are uh, using for it as a main pc or work pc for linux distro it's better to do your own research and get all the information and if you decide to use this Linux distro get all the information and try to boot it in the live boot virtual machines and if you're satisfied then go with the uh, installation in your main PC or work PC if you already have like a stable running current operating system don't try to ruin it just for some fancy things and anything because in order to run any uh, Linux distro, you need to just focus on the whether it's a stable Linux distro and also it has a bit of uh, long term support. You just need to see all those things, just not go with uh, looks or anything like that because you, you can customize anything if uh, you have some time, watch some tutorials and you can customize any type of Linux distros. But you always need to focus whether the Linux distro is stable and also it has support or not. You just need to focus on these things. Don't just go blindly watching some once videos and uh, install any Linux distros randomly because I will be just making a video and I'm just going to delete the operating systems and I'll be making another video because that's my job. That's uh, the reason I'm going to uh, always I always mention that it's your uh, PC. You need to be responsible. I'll just make a video just for money. So you just don't need to try to listen anyone it's your opinion and you need to try all the information to get all the information on your own do your research and try to uh, install uh, linux distros so always go with the well-known linux distros instead of some random uh, linux distros because there are plenty of linux distros available in the market of linux so it's better to go always a well-known linux distro which is from a lot of years so go with this type of linux distros and go with the linux distro which has stable 
uh, things and all those things. So don't blindly go with some uh, fancy things. Always go with the stability and all the features and also the support and all those things. So I'm, let's get back to the video. So here is the Tuner uh, file manager. Let's close it. So there was no issue or any lag in this Linux distro. So that's a good sign. So if you are a distro upper, you can try it. So if you are a normal user, it's your opinion. If you want to try it, you can try it or else you just need to skip this Linux distro. It's clearly your opinion. So there are a lot of customization things available here. Here is our website or the browser. So at the end of the video, these are all the hardware specs. RAM went almost 3.6 to 5 GB. And here is the process. These are all the process running. And here are the applications. Here is our internet connection. Here is our CPU. So let's check the version and I'm going to end the video here. So I already saw, I said my thoughts. It's clearly up to you to use this or not. Let me show you the logout screen and I'm going to end the video. So here is our login screen or a logout screen. The password is Trom0. Here is our session. Here is the accessibility. Here is the power options. Again, I already said everything. So it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use this Linux distro or not. And I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.